Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy June! I can't believe it's June already and I can't believe it's not warm out. Yesterday and today here in Wisconsin were not nice. Today was better, not warm enough for this girl who loves the heat and humidity. I know, I'm totally bizarre. But, um, yeah, it didn't get real warm today. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Karen. Lori, Heather. Welcome, Christine. I'm going to pop myself up here on my screen so I can see your comments coming when I flip my phone around. Hi, Jenny. Luann. Robin. Welcome. Okay, and here we go. Yay. Let me get that bigger. See everybody coming in. Beth. Welcome, Charlene, Suzette, Lori. So, I was trying to think about what I needed to update you guys on since I was here last and since I missed last Sunday. It seems like a month ago that Steve and I went on our trip to um, out west. <laughs> so, it started out as a little road trip and it was kind of fun because we... Um, we drove up to Minneapolis and hopped on an airplane to Denver and rented a car. And then we drove all around this great big loop and we went to Steamboat Springs, Colorado, Estes Park, up into Yellowstone, out to Cody, Grable, into Sheridan where we visited my friend Barb and her family for her daughter Jaden's graduation party. So. It was just like an amazing trip. We had so much fun. It was probably one of the least stressful trips. I know when you go on vacation, you're supposed to be really relaxed, but you usually have this regimen that you have to do this and you have to be here and you're on a tour for this and it has to be at that time. And I just don't like all that stuff. So we were like, we'd get up whenever we got up, we'd head out, we'd go eat breakfast, we'd jump on the road. We put 1,600 miles on a rental car, and we were driving a new Ford Explorer, which I have to say I really liked. <laughs> so I said, if one more thing goes wrong with my Explorer, I'm going to pull the pin, and it's going down the road. So hi, Susan. Hi, Bev. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Make sure you're doing this. I don't know if we can say the S-H-A-R-E word yet, but I'm going to give it maybe another week or two. I haven't heard of anybody else having problems with silly little Facebook and their weird little, <laughs> weird little rules <laughs> that don't make any sense. But anyways, um, our trip was fantastic. And I told my husband for a very long time that I really wanted him to go to Yellowstone. Um, I kind of traveled... A lot like I've been around the world many many places and I've been to some very beautiful places but I still stand by my comment and my opinion that Yellowstone National Park is the most beautiful place on earth and Steve would agree with me because he was just in awe of how gorgeous it was um, we went through a major snowstorm to get there <laughs> Yeah, they were putting chains on the semis on the mountains we were going over in the snow. It was pretty crazy, but we saw so much wildlife. Lots of elk, lots of deer, lots of antelope, but we saw like, I don't remember, four or six different black bears. Um, we saw three different moose. Um, the only thing we didn't see in Yellowstone was bighorn sheep and grizzly bears, so we're going to have to go back. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I could go back next week. I mean, seriously, I loved it. So we had a great time. We ate great food. Um, I'm happy to report that I've, you know, I've been gone for a couple weeks, but I'm still down one more pound than the last time I reported to you guys. So woohoo! I did. Um, I did enjoy myself twice with my meals. Not that I didn't like the food I was eating, but I mean, I really went like, okay, this is crazy. Um, biscuits and gravy is my favorite and Steve was like wondering when is she going to order the biscuits and gravy because it's available every place out in the west and finally on our last day in Colorado I ordered the biscuits and gravy it was totally worth it and then one other time we stopped at a barbecue place and um, I had baby back ribs and french fries and garlic Texas toast and it was worth it too <laughs> so it was delicious. Um, Jan said, did I see Morning Glory? We saw Old Faithful. 
I'm not sure if that's what you mean or not. And Heather says she likes my shirt. Thank you, Heather. I think I've had this shirt for a couple years, but it's like the first time I've ever worn it. I don't know why. I think because it didn't fit before and now it does. Um, yeah, Jessica says she had a Ford Explorer last month. And yeah, it's a pretty sweet ride. Uh, we really liked it. Um, all the... So it was funny because when we, we were at the rental car place and they said, there's your vehicle. And we went and got in and we sat there and we didn't know what to do because it had the key fobs, but we could we didn't have any key fobs. Like where, don't we need a key fob or something? We knew it was a push button start, but we're like, so we had to, I got out and got the guy. I'm like, could you come over here for a minute? Like, we don't know what to do. Like, don't we have a key fob or something? <laughs> We were so clueless, but by the time we got into our trip, we loved the automatic mirrors. Um, they have little indicators on them when somebody's close to you so you don't like pull into their lane. And oh my gosh, somebody just said, Kimberly, where's your tiara? I've lost my mind. What? <laughs> oh, Jan, no, we didn't go up to Old Glory, and I'll tell you why. So Steve's knee is in really bad shape. Like he's having a real hard time walking. And he went to the doctor and they told they gave him a shot and took fluid off of it and blah blah blah. And now they tell him tell him that he's got gout, which is some type of an infection in his knee. So the driving didn't bother his knee at all. It was probably good we were on that trip because he got a lot of rest on his knee. But to go to some of the places in Yellowstone, you have to walk a little ways. And so we couldn't really do that. Um, we didn't get to see the waterfalls either because that's quite a walk. But we did go to Old Faithful. And um, because we got to park right in the front of the parking lot, Yellowstone was like empty, you guys. Memorial Day weekend is the weekend to go. And so we only had to walk from the parking lot a little ways. And we sat way behind where the seating is for Old Faithful. And we watched it from there. So... Um, other times I would get out of the car like for those, I can never remember what they're calling, but the little steam things that come up from the ground that are just like sizzling. The hot springs, that's what it is. Oh my Lord. Um, I would go walk up there and I'd take pictures and videos and bring them back to the car and show them to him. And, and while it wasn't an ideal situation, it was better than nothing. And like I said, I think the rest was good for his knee because it didn't bother him to be in the car sitting or driving and he drove the entire trip like the whole thing 1600 miles so he did really good we didn't have any problems with our um, flights everything was perfect so it was just like an amazing vacation we had so much fun and got to do some cool things and see some beautiful country and if you're ever up for a road trip Yellowstone National Park is your place if you love the outdoors and all the beauty that it has. It's amazing. So, um, as I was going through, I also, I was going through my, I'm like, what did I do since I've seen you guys last? Well, we went on our trip and that was fabulous. I also had my used stamp sale yesterday. Oh my gosh, I am so grateful for all the people that we had that come help. Um, we had a great crew here to help. We sold actually uh, maybe a little bit more than $1,000 more than last year. And it rained all morning. That was miserable. But um, it just goes to show you can't keep a good stamper down because even in the rain, <laughs> they were here. <laughs> so it was really fun. Um, the sale was great. If you brought stuff over to sell... I do have the report um, with all the totals on it, and I will be getting, if you're on my team, you get cash back so you can buy stuff out of the new catalog. If you're not on my team, I'll be sending, I'll be, I sent out emails telling you exactly um, how much credit you have. Hi, Nikki, my cousin, and Lynn and Bridget. Thank you, Faye. So that's what's been going on in my world. Um, it's been very, very busy since I got home Wednesday. And like I said, it seems like a million years ago when I got home Wednesday. But um, I had a lot to do. I had a lot of blog hops and my used stamp sale. And um, I have a blog hop tomorrow. Speaking of, what's coming up this week? I have a blog hop tomorrow with the color fusers. Uh, tomorrow morning, it'll go live. And that's on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And... Um, we are using blueberry bushel, real red, gray granite, and basic black for our colors. So 
I have no idea. I haven't even started it yet. I have no idea what I'm going to make, but you can bet that before I go to bed tonight, I will have a blog post done and a video and some cool projects. I hope. <laughs> Can't guarantee about the coolness of the projects, but they will be blueberry, red, granite, and black. <laughs> hi, Lisa. Hi, Sherry. Okay, um, also next Saturday, I have a card buffet, which reminds me, I need to make myself a note, so I put that out on Facebook. Um, card buffet, hang on. Yeah, I've been doing this a lot lately. I've got notes everywhere. Uh, next Wednesday in Nina, Wisconsin, card buffet. You get to choose from 16 cards. You pick out eight. It's $18 or free with a $25 order. And we will be using new product out of that new catalog. I can't hardly wait. And speaking of new catalogs, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on this brand new catalog, you need to contact me. And please don't just leave a comment here because I will never probably see it. Um, you either need to private message me on Facebook or you can email me at kelly at a stamp above .com and um, give me your address. I'll be happy to send you this new catalog. I can't show you the inside yet, but just know it's amazing. Pam's asking about my used sale. It was fantastic. We had rain all morning, but sales were almost $1,000 more than last year. So we can't complain. And I had fantastic help here, which is key to the whole thing. Um, my helpers that helped me set up on Friday, and then my helpers that help with the sale as it's going on. And then I have more people come when it's time to pack everybody's stuff up and help with that. And oh, I just love each and every one of you. And I'm so grateful to have all of you. I know some of you are watching tonight. Um... So, speaking of new catalog, for those of you that have your new catalog, this is my wish list. Is that crazy? Yeah, it doesn't end there either. <laughs> it goes over to this side. <laughs> Who has their wish list done for the new catalog? Woohoo! The new catalog goes live on June 4th, which is Tuesday at 12 p.m. Mountain Time. So I think that's, um, is that 11 o'clock here or 1 o'clock? I don't know. I am so time zone challenged. But 12 p.m. Mountain Time is when our brand new catalog goes live. I know there's a lot of people chomping at the bit to get their order in. I'm one of them. Um, I will be placing my order first thing I can as soon as that's available. So know that our website's going to be down for a little while so that they can transition the new catalog into the system. So just know that. <laughs> Suzette says her wish list has been tweaked three times so far. I haven't really tweaked mine because, yeah, I, you know, I always write down everything that I have to have right away. And then when I look at the total, I might go back and start pulling stuff off because my eyes are bigger than my pocketbook. You know how that is. Okay. Um, I told you about the card of fan Saturday. Did you guys see that I had a... Um, blog hop with the Stamping Society. That's on my blog on Friday. And if you place an order with me, minimum $25 order, you will get a six project video tutorial. It's exclusive. It's not available to the public. If you do the blog hop, you can hop through six blogs that'll show you six different ideas using the Bird Ballad stamp set, which I thought maybe I had laying out here, but I don't. Um, we use the Bird Ballad suite of products. And then when you place an order with me, you get a PDF file with six different projects. They all have directions, pictures, dimensions, and um, exclusive videos for each one of the six projects. And they're not all cards. Some of them are not cards and they're pretty darn cute. So otherwise, globally, that's only for US residents that can place an order with me, right? If you're on my team as a business builder or a discount shopper, you also get this tutorial for free. Or you can buy it for $7, and that's a global. If No matter where you are in the world, you can buy the tutorial from me, from me for $7. So, just wanted you to let you, let you know about that. And then, um, oh, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber with me, I just sent out 17 different tutorials with alternate ideas for the Paper Pumpkin Kit, um, Hugs from Shelly, our May Kit. Each month, I send out a tutorial that has all the dimensions, the ingredients, and brief instructions with photos 
of a whole bunch of different alternate ideas other than what the kit was meant for. So we make things, we make cards with it, we make other things with it, but things that um, we pull in some of our own product. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've seen this before. And speaking of which, here's my card from the Stamping Society with that um, bird ballad suite. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was a super easy card to make. New dies, nested, um, stitched dies. Can you guys see the detail on those? I don't know if I'm coming in real clear tonight or not. But anyways, woohoo. So let me put this back. I don't know what those notes are, but I don't want to lose them. Um, also wanted to let you guys know there's more blades coming. Stamping Up is expecting several more shipments of blades for our paper cutter. So, um, if you, you know, if you have purchased it recently, of course, you're going to want to get some extra blades for it. If you have an old paper cutter and you're maybe in the market for a new one, I would hold off and wait and see what Stampin' Up comes up with. We don't have one yet. We haven't signed a contract with the manufacturer yet, but... Um, I just know it's going to be great because we have such fabulous product. So, okay, I thought I would start this off with sharing the cards that I got. Are you guys ready for this? They're so pretty, and I've got a lot of them. So, first off, Terry Sampson. Terry cased my um, Tea Together card. This was my last month's, meaning, yeah, May um, Stamping Society, Society tutorial. She used a different... Um, uh, die down here, but she kind of cased the layout and sent this to me. I thought that was really pretty. And then hers has some tea in it. And she says, this is the best tea ever. So I'm going to try it because I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. So this should be absolutely fantastic. And her card was thanking me for winning the card challenge. She won the last layout challenge that I held. So yay, Terry. Thank you. I've got to make sure I set that aside. So I drink your tea. Then I got this really cute card from Michelle Mock. She was a winner last time on Facebook Live, I believe. Yep. And, oh, no. You know what? I think it was actually from my team meeting she won. She's one of my team members. So thank you, Michelle, for that pretty card. And then we've got Dia Splana. Check this out. I love fun folds. You know I love fun folds. Look at that. Yeah. You think we should make this one? I think we should, because it's pretty cool, right? Love it. Okay, and Dee was sending me a card to say thanks for the help. She appreciates me being quick to reply and having the right answers. You're very welcome. As I was looking through these cards, um, I had a whole pile of them when we got back from our trip. As I was looking through these cards, it's like you guys are so appreciative. And I just want you to know that that really touches my heart, because... Um, I think we should all appreciate things, right? And I just feel so appreciated with this outpouring of love. This card is from Tr Trudy Hudson. Isn't that cute? She used those little um, wooden em oh, embroidery hoops. I thought this was adorable. And she just says, thanks for the great videos, Sunday evening Facebook Lives, and um, all the work that I put into it. You're very welcome, Trudy. Thank you for a beautiful card. Then we have this beauty, and this is from Nancy Ellison. Look at this. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And she just put a note in it um, to say thank you for the Stampin' Up! catalog. She can't wait for June 4th. She appreciates the videos, and she's never ordered from Stampin' Up! before, but she was made to feel so special each and every time. So I have never ordered from SU before and been made to feel so special each and every time. So... Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for the beautiful card. Then we have Penny Clark. Whoa, wait, hang on. Penny Clark. Penny Clark sent me this pretty card. Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love this. It's a little card. Oh, it goes like this. Sorry. And, um, again, it was, did I put that backwards to you guys? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, thank you so much. So, um, Penny actually sent me a check for something, or I should say cash. So I'll be getting that out in the mail tomorrow, Penny. So just know that. Oh, for those of you that have requested catalogs since I went on my trip, um, just know that I have you all on a list and I will be doing all of that tomorrow and getting them to the post office because I've been kind of a little, or uh, a little backed up since I got home with, um, deadlines. 
Then from my mother, I opened this card and I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. That's my card. Yeah, I made this card. I give my mom cards for gifts. <laughs> And she was thanking me for driving the two Miss Daisies to Door County. So that was really cute. This says, thank you so much. You overwhelmed me with your awesomeness. My mom. So you're welcome, mom. I don't know if you're watching or not. I heard she watched me a couple weeks ago. So that was kind of fun. Then we have Diane Christie. And look at this fun fold. Are you ready for this? Whoops. There's a letter in there. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So this part gets folded into here. I think I'm doing it right. Yep, and that part goes there. Very, very pretty. And Diane sent me a note saying that she wanted to thank me for the catalog. And she looks forward to Sunday nights. So you are very welcome. Thank you, Diane, for such a pretty card. Let me put this back in the envelope here. Then we have Janet Whalen. Janet sent me this pretty card. Oh my gosh, that Floral Romance, Wonderful Romance stamp set. Mm, I wish that would have gone into the big catalog, right? Um, she says, D -d 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 thanks for the stamp set. And um, Janet just got out of the hospital. So I hope that you are doing better, Janet. She said it, her card was late. She just got out of the hospital. Well, I hope you're doing well now. Okay, next we have a card. Isn't this cute? This is a store-bought card, but all cards are... Um, appreciated. And this is from Tyler and Jamie. We went, Haley and I went to their wedding shower. Um, Jamie and Haley graduated high school together and they played on the same soccer team and they're both getting married on August 3rd. <laughs> so we went to Jamie's bridal shower, but we won't be able to make it to the wedding. So, oh, and then this one is from Rachel Deshant from Yuma, Colorado. Are you ready for this? This is that new sailboat set. And she says, thanks for putting together your series on how to build a website. So if anybody wants to build their own blog, I have a whole series that will train you how to do that. And that's what Rachel is thanking me for. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. I can't wait. I haven't used this stamp set yet, but it's coming soon. Then I got this from my team member and friend, Sarah Simon. I love this paper. We're going to be using it tonight, too, the um, Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper. And I let her borrow a stamp set, so she was thanking me for that. Then we have this card from Mercy Burks. Isn't that cute? I love those little ladybugs. And Mercy was, whoops, thanking me for drawing her name for a prize. So you are very welcome. I'm glad you watched so you could win. And then, this is the last card I have to share with you guys. This is from Kathy Ty. Check this out. Okay. Ready? What? Yeah. I think we will be making this at some time in the future because I am a fun fold lover. So, um, Kathy, thank you for the, fr oh, she won the frosted flower embellishments. So, yay. You're very welcome. Thank you for a really cool card. So again, feeling really appreciated, you guys. And um, thank you so much for all this beautiful mail. It's always fun to get something besides bills in the mail, right? Yeah, and um, Denise says, fun folds are the best. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. My strawberry lemonade. That's what I'm drinking tonight. What you guys got in your cup? Okay, now for our winners. Yeah, Susie says there's so many talented people out there. I know, and I love seeing all of it, right? Thanks, you guys. Everybody's saying love all the cards. And Sharon, loving all the fun folds. I know. Um, I had, at our last team meeting, we had, um, our theme was fun folds. So I've got a whole bag of fun folds to share with you guys. Um, I can't hardly wait. So be watching for that. All right, we have winners from two weeks ago. For, uh, hang on, this is, um, for commenting on my last Facebook Live. Oh, Suzette's got, I just got the Optavia Strawberry Lemonade. Do you love it, Suzette? It's a calorie burner and it gives me a lot of energy. Like, la, 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 la. yeah. <laughs> and I love it. Um, Cindy Kittner. Oh, you can't even see what it is. Cindy Kittner is winning some of this beautiful striped black and silver ribbon. 
So that'll be out in the mail also with those new catalogs that people have asked for. Woohoo! Um, Cindy is from Newport, Pennsylvania. And then our next winner of the Delightfully Detailed Memories and More card pack is Mary Olson of Omro, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Mary. Last but not least, oh, and that was for sharing the video. And last but not least is our order winner. So Linda Vasquez of Melrose, Minnesota is winning this Itty Bitty Birthdays stamp set for placing an order with me. So there's three ways to win. Order, S-H-A-R-E, or comment. I do three drawings every week. Okay, so I'm going to set this securely right here so I don't lose it. Kathy, oh, Kathy, coffee. We've got crystal light. <laughs> I'm missing everything you guys are telling me you're drinking. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to stamp? I have some pretty cool things to show you tonight, I think. Okay, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to plug my phone in. I did remember to turn on the do not disturb. Hang on just a second. My cord's tangled up here. Oh my gosh, I've got so many cards. <laughs> if I turn my phone around, you guys would be so, I would be ashamed. It's such a mess over there. Like, oh my Lord. Okay, for those of you that get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'm going to flip my phone around and I'll tell you when you can open them up, okay? Hang tight. And hang on a second because I'm going to have to... What's happening here? I think we're really... Oh, no, nope, there we go. Don't open your eyes yet. I'm still messing around here. I like to get this straight. Okay, then I've got to mirror. Take that mirroring off. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. All right, and we've got this up here. Yep, this is my new host code for June. And here's my website, www.stampabove.com. When you go there, if you'd like to place an order, you can go there and check out all my goodies. But if you'd like to place an order, there's an online ordering button in the right-hand column. You'll see it. It says online order or online store or something like that. This host code is always shown in that right-hand column, too. So if you ever, you know, didn't write it down or whatever, um, you'll find it there. So I'm going to leave this right here so you guys can do this stuff while I get out my first card to make tonight. And, oh, you can open your eyes, those of you that get sick from motion. Open your eyes. Hang tight. I'm going to close my door because um, I know you might find this shocking, but I tend to talk loud. Yeah, I know. I have a big mouth. And my husband, I always close the door when I'm doing a Facebook Live, and he's in the kitchen talking to Alexa. Right? That's the lady that we tell about our grocery list. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Alexa, can you put this on the grocery list? Can you put that on the grocery list? Yeah. Um, I get a kick out of it. I think it's really funny that I can tell some lady in my kitchen <laughs> to add to the grocery list. And the best part is, is Steve's phone is the one that's hooked up to the, um, whatever you call those little dealy whoppers. And um, <laughs> so all the groceries go on his phone list. So I love it. I just added something this morning. Yeah, sound nice like that. Okay, we have, as you can see here, some fun things coming. Now, um, in my blog post on Friday, what did I do? Um, uh, totally Techniques Blog Hop. So we did making our own stencils, and I chose to make a stencil out of my dies. And so... I actually made three cards, but only featured two of them on my blog hop, so I could share one with you here. And we're going to be using the Falling Flowers stamp set, the Mayflowers framelits, and the Thankful Thoughts. All three of these items are retiring. Ah! And, by the way, that reminds me, um, tomorrow, June 3rd, is the last day to order from the retirement list. I'm happy to report that this is on sale. Hang on, let me grab my note here. Heavens, I can't remember such things. Um, the Mayflowers is usually $31, and right now it's $26.35. So if you happen to miss that blog pop, you can find that on my blog right here. It was posted on Friday. I've got some fantastic cards that I have made with this bundle over the years. I think you will love them. All right, let me get this back in here. Maybe. 
Okay, so I've got another stenciling idea to share with you. And let me bring in my piercing mat here. I'll show you the cards that I actually made already too, so you'll be able to see those. I've got a Whisper White Envelope here. Okay, and I just saw a question, but I missed it. You guys, if I miss any of your questions, um, let me know because it's hard for me to keep my thoughts rolling through my head as I'm talking to you and be unloading all the stuff so I can make cards for you and then actually making the cards for you and watching my comments. I know some people are much better at it than I am, but I'm the first to admit to you I'm not that good at it. <laughs> I'm a stamper. That's what I do. Okay, here we go. So, Whisper White Envelope. Then I've got Granny Apple Green. This is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. So we're just gonna fold this in half. I, I love tall cards. I don't know why, but I make a lot of tall cards. I just think it's interesting. And then we have a piece of, where did that little, whisper, oh, here it is. Um, whisper White. This one is three and three quarters by five. A piece of basic black to go behind it that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And by the way, when I get done with this Facebook Live, I will put all the dimensions for the projects I'm making tonight above the video on Facebook when I post it there as soon as we're finished, okay? I always do that. And then I think my blog post will be going live maybe tonight for these projects. You'll also find a shopping list on there that you can go to and look at the products that I use to see everything and click on them. It'll take you right to my store if you need to order anything. This is Whisper White four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a scrap of Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, and Whisper White. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to take this cute little flower and we're going to stamp it Oh, look, that didn't work out so good, did it? Let's try it again. Stamp it on the white scrap. And then we need to die cut it. So this die will fit on here just like this. I'm going to pretend like I ran that through the big shot. Just like magic, there it is. <laughs> I know you guys love that, right? Okay. Next, we need this flower. We're going to die cut this flower on the gorgeous grape, and we're going to die cut the leaf out of the granny apple green. And just like magic, I've already done that, so you don't have to sit and wait for me to do it. I know. I know you guys love that, right? Because we all know how to die cut. And if you don't know how to die cut, you just ask, and I will be happy to show you. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my um, Real Red Light and Dark Stampin' Blend markers. Now these are alcohol markers. If you're new to me, let's see, this is the dark one. I always like to use the dark one first and add my sh like shading. So I always use the dark and then I'll come in with the light and blend it. Now these alcohol markers are fantastic. And if you've never seen them used before, you're new to me, they make you look like an extreme artist. I'm just going to put it right out there. So this is the lighter marker now, and I'm just going to come in and blend. I know it's really hard for you to see this in the camera on a, a Facebook live stream because sometimes the camera isn't exactly crystal clear with Facebook. It's not me. It's um, Facebook or sometimes the internet streaming. But... Um, if you go to my blog after I get all these posted, maybe later tonight, I hope, or tomorrow, they'll be there, you will see crystal clear pictures of all the projects I'm going to make. So that's kind of helpful if it's a little grainy and you can't really see good on Facebook. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in the larger of these two Whisper Whites. The larger one, four by five and a quarter, is for um, the inside. So I'm going to bring in my Granny Apple cream and I'm going to just want a little bit of something on the inside of my card and I always kind of like to stamp something in the bottom right corner and that's what I'm going to do there. We can put this right in our card. This was multi-purpose liquid glue. It's a product you can get in my Stampin' Up! store and it is what I like to use 
to glue my pieces together. It gives you a little wiggle room. If you happen to lay it down crooked, you don't have to tear it up. You can just kind of smush it around and it'll move. You don't want to use too much of it. And you can see that I use just a really little bit. Okay, there's our card. Next, we're gonna bring in our white piece. And here's what we're gonna do with that. The first thing, whoops, whoops, hang on, I just lost the die. Ah, I just ran it over with my chair. I heard it fall, hang on. I don't wanna lose any of these. I found it, don't worry. Is there any more laying out here? No, I think I put them all away now. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, Claudia says she loves this stamp set and dies. Me too. Like this is my all time favorite die in there. I just love this one and it makes the prettiest flowers. Let's see. I've got a couple of them cut out back here. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Yeah. I love that. Okay. So anyways, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna stamp our words first because I find that if I do all the work on my layer and then stamp my words crooked, yeah, it's pretty disappointing, right? So I wanna get into the habit of doing my words first. So I'm gonna bring my Stamparatus in here. Now the Stamparatus, if you've never seen this, this is a positioning tool and it's got a lot of different uses. There's, I have several videos about it on my YouTube channel. But the one thing I like about it is these plates come out and you can use one plate, use two plates, whatever you need. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring in my paper. I always put like a little line here so I know where to position my paper once I get this set up. It comes with these magnets. It comes with two magnets. You can see all my magnets are broken now because yes, I've been rather careless with it, but it doesn't hurt anything. So just know that if you let your magnets smack together, they'll break. Yeah, I'm gonna take the greeting off of the stamp. And where did my stamp set go? Right here. I am using the greeting that says, if you could see my face, you'd see the smile you put on it. Isn't that cute? This is from Thankful Thoughts Retiring. Last day is tomorrow in case you need to get it. So I'm going to take my greeting. I'm gonna put it right over here and I want it to maybe be straight. We're gonna see how straight maybe it is. Now I'm picking it up. I can look at it right here and see that it is not very straight according to the grid lines that are on my Stamparatus. So this now looks pretty good. We're gonna ink it up with Memento Black ink. Another little tip, if you take a stamp case and put it under here, it'll have that plate lay flat and it's easier than when it angles down. Okay, here we go. Let's see how I did. Oh, that looks pretty good, but look at, I didn't get enough ink on the bottom sentence there. Can you guys see this? Let me look and make sure. Mm, yeah, I think you can. So I'm just gonna ink it up again because we haven't moved anything, you can stamp again. And this is why I use the Stamparatus. Look at how nice and crisp that is now. Okay, and that's all I wanted it for. That was it. <laughs> Now, to clean your stamps, you can do a whole bunch of these now. You can put a whole bunch down, you can stamp a whole bunch, but I'm done with this. I'm just gonna clean off my stamp with my chamois, throw that back in there, and uh, set it off to the side. When you store your Stamparatus, I'll take this out later, but when you store it, you don't want this second plate to be in there. It will not fold all the way down. So I just take mine, and lay it on top like this. I just want you to know that. I've never heard of anybody breaking the hinges because they're pretty sturdy or anything, but this is how you store it. Set that aside. Okay, now comes the really cool part. We are going to do some stenciling, and what I did here, just like on my video Friday, is I took a window sheet that's clear acetate, like cardstock, and I die cut it using that leaf die. I'm going to take this and we're gonna do some stenciling. Where did my, uh-oh, uh-oh, hang on. I'm missing my sponge dauber. No, where did you go, sponge? Did anybody see, the, oh, here it is. Whew. Okay, we're good. Now, I'm, I took a piece of paper. Let me show you how I did this. 
This is just such a good technique, especially for people who are starting out stamping and they don't have a lot of cardstock colors, right? So let's say you have Granny Apple Green ink, but you don't have matching cardstock. This is a good way for you to use this technique. So I like to hold on. This is just um, printer weight paper. I like to hold on to this to kind of guide my tear a little bit. Okay, I'm just tearing this off. I'm going to take this edge and we're going to put it right over here, just like this. Now I'm gonna hold this in place. Where'd my stencil go? Oh, here it is. I know I lose those all the time. And I'm going to bring in my Granny Apple Green. Oh, Suzette, I use window sheets. If you look up window sheets on the Stamping Up um, website, um, in my online store, you'll find window sheets. It's acetate paper. Um, it's like transparencies, only it's a little thicker. And that's what I cut out the leaf from. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to use my sponge dauber, and I'm going to do this edge right here. Now, I'm going to leave this here. This is when you wished you had a few more hands. And now I'm going to bring in one of one. I only have one. I'm going to bring in my leaf. And we're going to use it as a stencil. You want to make sure you're hanging onto your leaf so it doesn't go anyplace. Are you ready? Ah, isn't that pretty? So this is a great thing to do if you don't have a lot of ink colors of cards. I should say a lot of cardstock colors because you can. It looks like another layer of cardstock. And just wait till we get this done. This was just another stenciling idea that I had, and since I already had two projects on Friday, I thought, ooh, I'm gonna save this one for Facebook Live, yeah. Okay, and I'm just kind of making my leaves go up and down and all around. I see that I didn't position them quite as well as I did on my sample, so I'll show that to you too. I got more of them in here on my sample that I already made. And then maybe one more, how about, I'll do this. You just wanna kind of make them random. we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty cool? I, I always love to do this technique. I love the torn, whoops, I love the torn paper look down the side. Okay, now let's get our card finished. So we've got our dies here. Where did our flower go that we colored? Did you guys see that little bugger? Oh, for Pete's sake, seriously? Hang on. Here it is. Ha! Ah, okay. Dimensional. There's a hole in the middle of this die cut flower. So I'm just going to put a dimensional over the hole. I'm going to peel the backing off. I'm going to bring that pretty little flower in and line it up right in the center, just like that. And then I think I'm going to put another dimensional on the back here. And we're going to add this right down here. You want to make sure your petals don't cover up your words here, okay? And then this little green leaf I thought would be a perfect little embellishment. I just put a little tiny bit of glue on there. And I'm going to tuck this in right down here, just like that. Then I'm going to bring in one of these clear faceted gems. These are so nice for the in um, the centers of flowers. I really like to use them for that. And I've got my take your pick tool here. And I'm going to bring in the smallest one. Oops, hang on. I got it flipped upside down here. Now it's stuck to my finger. Here we go. And set, set, oh no, oh, don't stick it down. Sorry, I forgot something. Don't stick that down yet because I want to grab some Mango Melody. Is that what this color is? Yep, Dark Mango Melody. And I'm going to color this and it'll take on the yellow color from the um, Stampin' Blend marker. Now, 
I'm ready to put that in the center of my flower. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is, right? Let me get my lights in here a little better. Okay, then on the black, oh wait, I know, I keep going, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, hang on. There is a black marker here, here it is. We're gonna do some flicking, okay? So, to do flicking, you take the larger end of your Stampin' Right marker and you put it in the lid of your marker and you flick it. Now, I'm going to do that down here. I, I want to tone down the white here because I just feel like it's like very stark. There you go. All done flicking. Can you see what I did there? Isn't that neat? Yeah. My friend Dina taught me that. She's a big flicker. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't hurt your marker. Don't worry about that. And the good part is when you do black flicking, you can actually order the black Stampin' Right marker individually. You don't have to order a whole pack of them. So I always have like two or three of them on hand because when I do classes, you know, we might do flicking in more than one card. So I need more than one. But yeah. It does take just a little bit for the ink from the marker to dry, so don't smear your hand across it right away because you don't want to smear all your beautiful work here. But here is my stencil card using another idea with the making your own stencils. Yay! Then I need something on my envelope. Look at it. I just dumped my marker in my ink pad. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this leaf right over here on the side of my envelope more than once. There we go. That's kind of substantial, right? So here we have our pretty card with our pretty envelope ready to roll. If you could see my face, you'd see the smile you put on it. How sweet is that? And if you wanted to, you could put a thank you in here. But I'm just going to leave it blank so I can use it for whatever I need. Then I'll show you the other two cards that were part of my blog hop. This was one of them. And again, I used the same stamp sets, the Thankful Thoughts, the Mayflowers, and the Falling Flowers, and I used that big flower. Isn't that pretty? I also, you guys, want to tell you that I used the Stamparatus for my greeting. And the reason why I did that is because I had to stamp it like two or three times. This is a really bold greeting and I wanted it to not look washed out. So I stamped it with the Stamparatus two or three times to get it to be very crisp. And, oh, then I used that Flourish stamp that's in here, this one. And then your generosity is second only to your fabulosity. Pretty, right? Again, that's from the Thankful Thought. So there's number two. And then here's the last card. This is a little step up. I die cut the black and the pineapple punch dye flowers and just put a little banner on them and I introduced the pineapple um, um, melon mambo ink color that isn't in this one this one but it's in this one and then here's the inside again with the coastal cabana so you can find all the details and a complete shopping list on my blog for these two cards and then this one will be on with my Facebook live projects tonight Thank you guys so much. I see all the hearts popping up. I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I am going to... Um, oh, I told you that I would show you the one that I already made. So, um, yeah, I, I just spaced the leaves a little bit closer together on this one than this one. But they're identical cards. They turned out both really nice, right? Okay, I'm going to leave that here while I pack this stuff up so we can get on to our next card. Hang on just a second. Everything put away. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Those hearts are just pouring up my screen. I love that. Thank you so much. This and this and this. Okay, what are we going to make next? Hmm. What does Kelly have up her sleeve next? Oh, I've got two cards in here. I think you guys are really going to like these. Hang on a second. I'm going to bring in a new piercing mat so we're nice and fresh here. I've got needle and thread and needlepoint elements to share tonight. We've got two projects we're going to make with this. Hang on just a second. If I missed any of your questions, now is a really good time to retype them. 
um, because I'm looking at my messages as I'm unloading my bucket here. Like I said, you know, it's hard to do that. <laughs> not going to lie to you. I'm a stamper. <laughs> All the rest of this is a little tricky. Okay. The envelope punch board is on sale for $15. If you don't have one, I highly recommend them. Other than making envelopes, which it gives you a gazillion sizes down here of what you have to cut your cardstock at, um, you take how big is your card, then you see, and you go and it says cut your paper this, and then you're going to start, and I'll show you how to use it in a minute, start at this number, and these envelopes are so easy to make, but beyond the envelopes, there are a ton of different ideas making treat holders and pouches and boxes and all kinds of stuff with this envelope punch board. And normally $20, right now it's on sale for $15, and it is retiring as of tomorrow. So if you have one, yay. If you don't, I highly recommend getting one. There's a ton of ideas you can find for the envelope punch board on Pinterest. Okay, first one I'm going to make here is I'm going to bring in this beautiful paper. Let me see if I have a sample of this that I can share with you. Yep, here it is. Needle Point Nook. I checked right before I came on live. This paper, stamp set, and framelits are all retiring, but they're still all available in the store. These framelits are on sale. They're normally $30. Right now they're $22.50. And this gives you just the stitched images. And then here's all the dies that come in the set of dies. Oh, and then I'll get you these. Hang on, I got more. Look at these beautiful images. These are our distinctive images, and you can see just how they look like they're so real, right? Butterfly, butterfly, some great greetings. We've got these stitched um, lines here. And then again, you can do this all the way across your card. I've used this bundle before, and I showed you how easy it is to click that line of stitching into the last one you did to keep it straight going across, and I love this, and of course that too. Okay, I love it all. I have really had a lot of fun with this bundle. Um, hang on just a second here. Oh, I'm messing up my flower. There we go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, take our layers here. So I've got a piece of the Needle Point Nook Designer Series paper. This is the one with the little butterflies on it. And this is seven and a half by seven and a half. And we are going to do our envelope punching on here. So what you do is you decide how big does your card need to be? And I needed a card that was four and a quarter by five and a half. Nope, nope, wrong, wrong. Sorry. Erase that from your mind. I needed a card that was four by five, or an envelope. Let me start over, I'm sorry, I'm being so confusing. My finished card size is four by five. So it tells me my paper size needs to be seven and a half by seven and a half, and I need to start at three and three eighths. Now hang on before you go like, oh my Lord, I can't even do that. You can do it, I know you can. We're gonna take our scoring tool out of the side here, We've got a seven and a half by seven and a half inch piece of designer paper, and we are going to put this in our punch board up to three and three eighths, and it tells you all the little increments right there so you don't even have to guess. So once we do that, we're gonna punch, and we're gonna use this tool, and we're gonna come right in here, and we're gonna follow this line. This is our scoring line on this um, punch board. Okay, so we just did that. Now, you don't mess around with any measuring. That's the only measuring that you need to do from this point on. You're gonna turn it, and our score line is right here. We're gonna line our score line up with the score guide. And it's kinda of hard to see on this designer series paper, so you may wanna fold it a little bit so you can see what's going on. I scored, punched, and you just do that on all four sides. Score, punch, and one more time. I'm feeling for that score line. Sometimes it's Hard to see. There we go. Score punch. Okay, this is what we have. 
Now, the cool thing about the punch board is it's got a circle or a corner rounder. And the corner rounder is right here. So we're going to round all four of these corners. Put them right in there. Make sure they're lined up. Punch them. Do you see how nice that is? It makes your envelopes look really professional. And then we're going to score. Or, I mean, <laughs> we're going to burnish those score lines. And I like to use my bone folder to do that. I love this paper. I think it's so, so pretty, right? Okay, I see somebody asked me a question. Hang tight. My computer is not scrolling the way it should, and maybe I'm wrong. What's the shovel end for on the take your pick tool? Oh, Nancy, hang on. Um, oh, um, you can use that for a variety of things. I've got my um, stylus, a big stylus end and a little stylus end in here. And let me see if I can, I don't know where my other tools are. I had to take your, oh, here's something. Well, this is a putty refill for that end with the putty in it. Let me see if I've got another, I don't know where my little shovel is, but you can use that for any number of things. You can use it to help pick up embellishments. Like if you have bigger embellishments, you can scoop it under there and pick them up. Um, I was using it with our new cling mount stamps to push underneath the label and then grab it so you can pull it off the block. Um, I don't know that there's really a specific reason for it, but it's a helpful little tool. So that was a great question. Thank you for asking. All right, so we're going to keep going here. I'm glad I saw that. I, I don't know why. You know, Facebook changes things all the time, and for some reason the last few weeks my messages, my comments don't scroll up on my computer. Okay, so this is what we've done so far. Now, what I want to tell you is make sure you put this tool back in here so you don't lose it because I've been there, done that. We're going to do a little bit of stamping here. Yeah, Joanne, I'm sad to see the envelope punch board going away too, but if you have one, you're in good shape. Um, it's been around for a very long time, so I'm glad we had it this long in our catalog. But, you know, we need to change. We need to move out our inventory for room for new inventory, too. So I totally get that. Okay, I highly recommend that you do your greeting first, and then I'll show you what the next elements are, because I struggled quite a bit with this <laughs> earlier today. Like, you will see me fumbling around a little bit. Um, that was Night of Navy Ink. Sherry Tyson has an envelope punch board and she's never taken it out of the box. You get that thing out, girlfriend. And then you go do a search for envelope punch board, envelope punch board, and you're going to see a million different ideas with it. Okay, this is Bashful Blue. I'm going to pull this down a little bit so I can stand directly over it and see what I'm doing. So what I wanted to tell you is to do this part, I stamped this and this earlier today. I couldn't get those words in there straight to save my butt. I could have used my Stamparatus, but I was a little bit lazy. So do the words first and then come in here with that little stitch greeting. Isn't that so cute? I love how that frames my words. All right, and then the other thing we have, oh, I didn't tell you the sizes on these. So this is um, Balmy Blue, and this is four by five, and then my Whisper White is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So we're just gonna take this white one, and we're gonna glue it to the Balmy Blue. And this is a lot like the Magic Envelope card that I showed. Um, I did a tutorial for Split Coast Stampers a couple weeks ago. This is gonna go right inside, and this fits perfectly inside our envelope. There's a little bit of border around all four edges here, okay? Now, inside our framelits that go with this needlepoint element set of dies is this die right here. And that's what I used to make this label. So we're gonna take that and we're going to use Night of Navy ink and stamp friend on here 
And because it's photopolymer, it's fantastic that I can stand over top of it and maybe get it straight. It's not guaranteed, of course. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> and then I've got those cutie patootie little butterflies. And I'm just going to bring those in in balmy blue and stamp those right like that. It just adds a little bit to this label. Did you guys see my, oh, here's my rhinestones. Take your pick tool, let me get this back on here. I'm gonna take one of these small rhinestones up here and I'm gonna add it as the dot on the eye. Cause I just like to do that when I have an eye. I think it's cute, charming. Okay. And then, what was I just looking for? Dimensionals. So we're gonna take dimensionals, we're gonna put them out as far to the sides as we can on this label without covering up those die cut little teardroppy deals, okay? And peel the backing off. Sides go in, top comes down, nope. Sides go in, bottom goes up, top comes down. This is kind of like our little tucking mechanism here. You want just a little bit, I can see a little, I know you can't see it, but I can see a little bit of that um, rounded edge there. And this tucks right in there. So you're going like, Kelly, how do you mail this? Well, you're not going to put this through the mail, right, without some protection. So that's where we have an envelope. Here we go. We have an envelope and this is going to fit right in there. But before we put it in there, I am going to decorate it up a little bit. So I've got Knight of Navy here. I'm going to take some butterflies. I'm leaving spaces in between them. Clean this off and do balmy blue. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Yeah, just a little something to decorate up that envelope. Let me get this out of here. And this cute little note fits right inside the envelope because that's what size I made it. I wanted it to fit in an envelope. Now, when my friend gets this, how cute is that? Get well soon. Yeah, I like to have get well cards made up ahead of time so that, you know, because when people get sick, you can't like wait a week to make a get well card and then send it to them because they're probably better by then, you hope. I mean, a lot of the times if it's a cold or flu or something. So I like to have these made ahead of time. All right, there we go. Get well soon. Then our next one, we're gonna do a little bit of embossing with. And I'm just gonna show you another one of these cards. And let me put these two ink colors away before I make a mess out of things. Um, here we go. I'm going to clean these two. I don't know which ones I need for sure, but I'm going to mess up my ink pads, right? Oh, get well, I think it was dirty too. Okay, that should be good. All right, next. We are going to make one using this beautiful paper. Isn't that pretty? So what I've got here, again, this is my card base. This is crushed curry. And this is um, five by four. Whisper white is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. I've got a scrap of poppy parade that we are going to cut a label out of. Same label we used on the other one. Now I tried this with a bunch of different colors and I think that this one is the one that turned out the best. Like uh, the color popped, I really liked it. Where's my Versamark ink? Did you guys see it? Hmm. Versamark. I thought I got it out. Maybe not. Hang on, I got more. Don't worry, I have lots of Versamark. Oh, <gasps> Are you guys yelling at me? Could you see that? No, you couldn't see that sitting up there. There it was. It was just pushed out of the frame of the camera. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is we are going to hit this with our embossing buddy. This will keep that ink only where we, or the powder where we want it. So we got that. And then I have this saying that says, sending you happiness and love. So we're going to use the Versamark ink. 
Versamark ink is a watermark ink, and if you don't have any, get yourself some. You'll love it. Well, I got this pretty crooked, so let's try it again. I know it probably doesn't... It's hard for me to... Ugh, Pete's sakes, Kelly. It's hard for me to stand directly over what I'm doing to see this because the camera's in the way. I'm gonna bend, I bent this, so I'm going to bend it back so it lays down flat. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> I'm glad I redid it. Oh, but I got, look at I got ink all over it. Okay, so, um, once you get that stamped to your satisfaction, we are going to close this up. I've got white embossing powder in here. I'm just going to do it on the crooked side because it's actually turned out better. <laughs> okay. Put your powder on there, tap it off. You could use a paintbrush if you get any. I've got these teeny weeny little paintbrushes if you get any powder someplace where you don't want it. That's these are really helpful. And let's close this up. Now I'm gonna hit this with the heat tool, and you guys that follow me know that I've already done that for you. Yeah. But I just want you to know if you've never embossed how you need to do that. Okay, here we go. I decided to use rhinestones on this one. I'm going to put them right on the end of this label. I thought they would look, they would just, you know, spruce it up a little bit. Can you guys see that? Okay. Uh, all the comments still <laughs> not scrolling. I just moved all my comments up. Um, then we're going to take the Whisper White layer, which I have lost. Here it is. Whisper White layer. I know. Are you guys sitting at home going, God, she loses everything. I do. I lose a lot of stuff. That's just the way I am. Okay, Poppy Parade, and again, I'm changing my ink colors to match the designer series paper that I have here. People like you make the world a better place, and I love that saying also. Then I'm gonna bring in crushed curry, and here are those three little flowers that are distinctive, and can you see how absolutely beautiful those are? Oh my gosh. All right, next. I'm going to clean this off because we're going to use this again in a poppy. Before I forget, we're going to grab our envelope and we're going to stamp some poppy flowers down here. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I know. I love it. We're done stamping. Let me get these closed up. And here we go. Um, glue, here we go. So Steve made cheeseburgers today on the grill. They were so good, but yesterday he cooked up some rotisserie chicken from Costco, you know, you can buy it already off the chicken part. <laughs> he did that and shrimp for salads this week for me, you guys. And I'm seeing that like, where did, why, why is she talking about that randomly? Because my stomach just growled. I need to eat something. Okay, here's our envelope punch board. Really, really quickly, I'm going to show you how super simple this is. Again, I've got seven and a half by seven and a half. I'm going to push it up here to three and three eighths. Punch. Line it up with that score line. Punch. And I know you guys can't probably see these score lines. Line it up with the score lines, but I can see them. And one more time, line this up with the score line. Punch. Here comes our rounded edges. Do you see how quick and easy these are to make your own envelopes? It's like amazing. And I'll show you just one more time exactly how I did this. Now, I want you to use up your designer paper. I want you to share with me one of these. I want to see it. I want to see what you made with it. You need to use that designer series paper up 
Because I know that for a lot of you, in your mind, you're like, oh my lord, I can't buy any more designer series paper. I have so much. Well, use it. And then you'll be able to get the new pretty stuff that's coming out because our designer series paper in that new catalog is to die for. Okay, here we go again with dimensionals. And I'm just putting those dimensionals. You want to make sure you're careful not to put this too high up on your, um, or too low down on your, well, you want those dimensionals to hit this piece alone. Okay, you don't want it to carry over to those other pieces. Otherwise, your little card thing won't open because the dimensionals will stick it together. But you want just a tiny bit of this little flap hanging out. So here, and of course you want to get it straight. And that looks pretty darn good. Here's our cute little envelope. Here is the other one that I made. Use up that designer paper, you guys. I'm not kidding, I want to see things from you. <laughs> Now I sound like I'm really bossy. And you know what? If you didn't know that about me, I am pretty bossy. <laughs> use up the designer paper. Show me what you're making with it. Get it out. Use it up. You'll be able to buy some more when the new catalog comes out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Don't forget that the framelits for this bundle are they're on sale for $22.50 regularly $30. This bundle is retiring. The paper is retiring. It's all still available in my store if you need to get some. Here is our stenciling card. I made my own stencils and I did a little faux tearing technique and then we splattered it with a black marker. That's fun too. Don't forget to S-H-A-R-E. I appreciate it. If you came on late and you haven't commented yet, you get entered into drawings when you comment. Um, when you comment, when you S H A R E, and when you place an order with me. So don't forget to do that. Now, I am totally looking at my screen right now, you guys. If I missed a question, type it in. I want to see because I don't want to ignore anybody. Type in your question again, and I will answer it. Yeah, this is really pretty. I like these. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these because I've got quite a bit of designer series paper left over. And as a demonstrator, you know that once I can't sell this anymore, I, I, don't, I don't use it on screen anymore because that would be pointless, right? Um, I always appreciate your orders. Remember, this just tucks in the sides first, the bottom, boom. Isn't that cute? And just like the other one, it slips right in an envelope for mailing purposes. So, very, very cool. Yes, Cindy says, I hope your sale was very successful yesterday. And it was very successful, Cindy. Thank you very much. We had, even though it rained all morning, we had a blast. Um, we, I've got a great group of people that come to help me, thank God, because I certainly couldn't do it by myself. It'd take me a week to get it ready and a week to take it down. If you saw my photos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Did I honestly not put the inside in? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Was anybody telling me, Kelly, put it in the inside? There you go. Don't forget to do this. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even finish the card. I'm like, what is she doing with that inside piece? There we go. <laughs> well, I've been gone for a little while, so I need to get back on my game. Okay, there we go with some cool cards. Here's my other stencil cards that I did, too. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to be live again on next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. That is June 9th. It better get warm enough out to do some swimming. Um, you guys know that Sundays at my house is Sunday Fun Day, where all the kids come over with their kids and friends and um, um we do like usually a whole family friend party all day long on Sundays. So sometimes now leading up here into the summer months, you're going to see me with my hair just out of the pool and whatever, because I'll have my projects done ahead of time. I'm not going to give up family time to go look pretty, <laughs> to go take a shower and do my hair and makeup. So I just want you to be prepared for that. <laughs> um, yeah. That's not going to happen. Not in the summer. That's my time. I love the summer. 
Oh, you guys are so sweet. You are so welcome for another night of stamping. Um, Diane says she missed me last week. I have heard so many people say that they missed me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that you came back to me on Sunday night because, you know, sometimes some people might find something else to do and then they're not going to come back. And I'm like, oh, no. But it was time off that I desperately needed. Um, I really think Steve needed it, too. I'm going to flip my phone back around. So just know that you're going to flip here in a second. There you go. So I can talk to you and not just nobody. Yeah, I still have my crown on. Woohoo! But, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a little vacation that we both needed. And... Um, it's wonderful. Oh, Bev says her daughter gave her a punch board and she hasn't ever used it. Bev, you get that punch board out. <laughs> You'll love it. And again, go on Pinterest and do a search with the envelope punch board. You're going to find a gazillion really cute ideas with it. Sherry says, we don't care. You don't care what my hair looks like, right? I know. I know. I did that a couple times last summer and nobody said a thing. So that was good. <laughs> Sylvia is preparing for winter just over, oh, where are you, Sylvia? You're across the world or something. Um, well, thanks, Joanne. Joanne loves the envelope card. Don't forget that if you're watching this video later on um, YouTube or on my blog, you can share on YouTube, too. I really appreciate it. Suzette said it was 100 there today. Well, Suzette, I'm jealous. I know that sounds crazy, and you think I'm just insane. I love hot, hot, hot. I would love it. Suzette's in Florida, and I would love it. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have anything else to share with you. Oh, oh, yes, I do. So on, let's see, on Tuesday morning, where did my notes go? I wrote it down, and then I didn't even tell you about it. That's how great I am, right? Yeah. On Tuesday, um... I'm going to do a new catalog tour. Let me find my notes. I don't know where they went. Anyways, I'll put some advertising up for it. I don't know what my note... I don't know what happened to my notes. But I'm doing a new catalog tour. And here's what I found. As we were on our road trip, um, and I was doing my wish list, I found a gazillion little things. Oh, here's my notes. I knew they didn't get too far. I didn't leave, right? Um, I found a, a gazillion little things in the catalog that I had missed before. And so I am going to do a new catalog tour on Tuesday. Nope. Yep. Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. I couldn't find it in my notes. Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. That means I need to set my alarm because sometimes I don't get up that early. Um, 9 a.m. Central Time, I am going to do a new catalog tour so that I can show you all the goodies that I found in this catalog that lots of people, I know some of you are going to catch them, but other people are not. So our catalog goes live June 4th at 9 a.m. I'm going to do a new catalog tour and you're going to get to see all the little tidbits that I found in there and I think you're going to love it. So I'll be live again then. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful Sunday night. I really appreciate it. Again, if I happen to miss a question, private message me and I will answer you, I promise. All right, have a good week. Thank you, Cindy says she loves my top. Thank you, oh, you want me to do a twirl around? So this is a this is kind of a different little shirt. So um, look at, woo, it parts right there. <laughs> I changed my shirt around last time I was on. But yeah, and so, isn't it cute? Yeah, I really like it. And then it's got, you know, the open sleeves. Yeah. Twirl. Woo. <laughs> All right, I get to get I have to get to work on um somebody just said holy crap that's 7 a.m. in Phoenix. Oh, I wouldn't get up that early. <laughs> I know I was so happy I got to sleep in today because I have had to set my alarm for the last three days in a row to get up early. <sighs> I hate that. So, anyways, um I'll see you guys on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. if you can make it. Otherwise, I'll post it. Don't worry. You'll still get to see it. I think it'll be worth watching because there's a lot of cool stuff in there that I wasn't aware of. Like, you really have to look at the details. Okay. You guys have a great couple days and um, uh, a great Monday. And I'll see you on Tuesday maybe. Otherwise, next Sunday, 7 p.m. Bye-bye.